Hello everyone, LD3 back with you for another video. Today we are back in the golf club to ready to take on another course. I played one practice round in between the last episode and this one. It turned out better than the first round, but it's still not great. I think I shot 83, I think it was. So it's a little off, but that's okay. We're going to move on, play TPC Deer Run today which is the uh, course for the John Deere Classic this week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, here we are. First hole of TPC Deer Run. It already looks pretty good. Not going to lie, all the trees and stuff. The background is a little different because this is in Illinois. or It's in Illinois or Iowa. I'm pretty sure it's Illinois. So I'm pretty sure those mountains wouldn't be in the background in Illinois. But... The trees and stuff seem pretty good, and as you can see, my driving is already better. Um, that's probably going to be in the bunker, but at least I hit it well. At least I hit it well, and if you saw, I did pull back the distance a little bit. I'm now playing on the player mode instead of the tour mode, so I could get a little better with the accuracy. That's one of the reasons probably why I did better in the second round. And see, even the that was a bad shot, but it still didn't end up terribly. Well, I've seen so I like this mode a lot better. A lot better, and we're just going to chip it up. And I'm still off let chipping. I'm still very off let chipping. I can't figure out the, the, uh, the pace for the chipping to hit it well. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of embarrassing, to be completely honest with you. That was very embarrassing. But there we go. That's a little better. And now I'm going to chip in for a bogey. Of course. Of course. I just have two awful chips and then I'm going to chip in for a bogey. Are you kidding me? But you know what? That's not a quad or a triple. So I'll take that. And we're going to have a par five next. PBC Deer Run is one of those good courses. It was Jordan Spieth's first win on the PGA Tour. And I remember that tournament like almost every second of that tournament from the playoff and everything before the playoff, watching Jordan come in and stuff. It was really cool. That bunker shot he hit, that was a bad drive, though. That was a pretty bad drive. Um, let's see. How do I want to play this? Oh, there's water there. I see. Should I go through the trees, then? Yes. I'm going through the trees for no reason other than for entertainment. But it actually worked out really well. That actually worked out a lot better than it should have. And it's only 115 yards, but I am in the fairway, so I will take it. 175 out for the third shot. 170 should be good. And go. That should be okay, except it's going to be right because of the wind, isn't it? Yep. It's going to be right because of the wind. I'm going to be in the bunker. My bunker play has been was okay in the second round. Um... Not great, but okay. And, yeah, we're just going to go full full flopping right there. Oh, what just happened? What just happened? Did a fast swing really do that? Did I really just skull a bunker shot? That might have been just what happened. I'm not sure, though. But that's a great recovery shot right there. It's going to be another bogey if I bake that putt in, though, which okay, is a little can disappointing, can not going to lie. I was thinking after that second shot, I definitely had a chance at par. But you know what? It's a bogey. I'll take it. After that fourth shot, I will absolutely take an up and down from there. And now we're going to the third hole. Par three. Seems like a fairly long par three. 184. I am playing from the tips today, too. The back tees. Um, I realized last time that I was playing on the front tees because you, you have to, like, enforce what tees you want to play from. And since I didn't do that last time... It just had me play from the front tees. So that's why I'm now on the back tees. That should be a really good shot if that sits. If that sits, that's going to be a really good shot. Oh, and it's even curving that way too. Sit right there. Don't go in the bunker. Don't roll into the bunker. Don't roll into the bunker. You roll into the rough, okay? It's not the bunker, which I will take. However, I am disappointed with the fact that I couldn't have a putt there. But I am going to have a par putt, the first one of the day. Uh, it's going to be a tough putt, though, because it's 14 feet out, but I'm going to slam it right in the middle. Yes, I am. That's a par. 
two over par through three holes. Definitely a lot better than I think the quad and the triple start that I had last time. So, as you can tell, I'm already playing a lot better. And I'm having fun because I'm playing an actual course someone made. And I'm playing a course that the PGA Tour is playing on, too. So I'm actually having more fun than just playing one of those created courses that the game actually created. This is a beauty. Upon release. Um, where is that going? Is that another bunker? Am I really going to hit it into another bunker? Ugh, another bunker. Okay. Okay, um, disappointment is shown in my body language and my face. I am disappointed with myself. I have dishonored my family with that shot. I have dishonored my family even more with that shot. Wow, okay. Um, that actually wasn't as bad because it actually went a decent distance, but I am going to have a tough pitch shot here. Get it up. Go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, I'm on the green. That is actually a very good shot. That's pin high. Very good distance control if it wants to stop rolling. If the ball wants to stop rolling, that would be very appreciative, which it does. There we go. But now we're going to have a 25-footer for par. Not that good, especially when I pull the putt and blow it five feet past the hole. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Not. But there's a bogey. No doubles or triples yet. I am very proud of that. I'm proud of the fact that I haven't gotten a double or a triple through th four holes. I'm very happy right now, to be honest with you. Okay, now we get a 430-yard par four. Driver gets me there, so I'm going to pull it over this way a little bit and go. Oh, uh, and then I'm going to pull it into the rough, aren't I? Yep. I'm going to pull it into the rough. Hopefully, I just get by this tree. That's really all I'm hoping for, which I do. Is it going to roll all the way back to the fairway? No, it is not. That's okay. I'm only in the light rough. Um, I'm just going to... Ooh. It even shows the slope, so i got to pull it over this way a little bit because i got some slope going. Good job, game. This game is becoming more realistic every time I play it. I'm liking it. And that's going to be a little short because of the slow backswing and probably the short, the short backswing also. But that's going to... Should be a nice, easy chip if I can actually chip right. Um... How do I want to play this? I'm going to play this about here and there. Sit. 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 Stop rolling. Okay, not bad. After those first two chips, my chipping has go. definitely gotten a lot better. I can say that. And should that be a par? No, I lip out. Dang it. Dang it, and now it's going to be like a seven-foot putt back the other way. Definitely a lot easier than the first one, though. And that's going to be a bogey. Okay, still no doubles. My goal for this round is no double bogeys. That's my goal. My goal is no double bogeys. That's what I try to do in real life. That's what I'm going to try to do here. Because I'm still trying to learn this game. And we're just going to do it that way. And go. Oh, that's a uh, slow backswing. So it's not going to go as far. And am I going to hit another fairway bunker? This is going to be the third fairway bunker if I get into it. Oh, wow. Wow, my my driving hasn't been terrible. But if you've been looking at where they've ended up, it seems like they've been terrible. Uh, slow backswing again, which I'm not really understanding. Am I just going to go bunker to bunker? Yes, beach to beach. That's exactly what just happened there. And nope. What just happened? It has, like... 70% lie, so it shouldn't be going as far, but then that happens, but... And then that happens, and then I hit it Amazing. about half, kind of like it was so telling me to do before, and then it leaves me 30 feet short. Like, what are you doing, game? What are you doing? But how about that putt? I wasn't even trying there, and I just make a 20-footer for bogey, I think. Is that another... Is that, that was a bogey putt. Yes, no doubles. No doubles. Thank you very much, game, for giving me that putt. Um, but now we have a very long par three, so not time to push the double panic button yet. But it might do. It might be able to do that after a very poor shot here, which could happen and will happen because I completely crushed that over the green into a bunker. 
Bunkers for Days. That That's what I might be titling this episode, Bunkers for Days. Because that is exactly what is going on right now. I'm just hitting every bunker on this golf course for no reason. Okay, and that's going to be an okay chip if it rolls a little bit. Come on, roll up a little more. It's straight downhill. Not? Is it not straight downhill? I thought I saw that was straight downhill. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Yeah. It's basically guaranteed me not another double bogey, so I'll take that. Except for the fact that I completely mishit that putt. Um, but I guess I'll take it. It's going to give me a right, five-footer, we'll six-footer six for bogey. Which I make. There we go. No more doubles. No doubles. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Uh, what am I? Six over through seven? Yeah. That's not bad. I was nine over through... I was finished the front nine nine over in my practice round. So this is already off to a better start than even that. And I just completely hooked it, didn't I? Into another fairway bunker. This is... I remember the John Deere... Having a lot of bunkers and TPC Deer Run having a lot of bunkers. It's not that I should be hitting every single bunker, though, on this course, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm literally hitting every single bunker on this golf course. Even the fairway bunkers. I'm hitting fairway bunkers. I'm hitting greenside bunkers. I'm hitting la layup bunkers. Like any type of bunker that you can tell me exists, I am hitting that bunker. And that's going to be a good chip shot. And that's going to be a par, I think. If I can make that putt, which, as you can see, my putting's been saving me in this round so far. So, hopefully that means I can make that for par. Yes, there we go. To say six over three eight holes. Not awful, to be honest with you. For my third time playing this, that's not awful. For the original golf club game, I think my third round I still shot like 90 because I still couldn't handle the game. So, that's definitely a lot better, but now we have a super long par four. Which is a little depressing, especially when I hook a drive like that. I didn't get in the bunker, though. I'm happy that I didn't get in the bunker, but I'm not happy with that drive. That drive was very disappointing. Um, let's see here. 240 out. In the heavy rough, I'm just going to hit three wood as far, as far down as I can. And I think I just let go of my club there, too, because that was a poor shot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but it's going to bounce back in the fairway. How about that for a lucky bounce there? Thank you, Mr. Hill, for uh, carrying my ball to that great spot. And what should I do here? Should I do gap wedge or sand wedge? Sand wedge. No, it's it's wind in, so I'm going to just put a little bit up on the gap wedge. And I'm just going to hit it full and see what happens. Slow and fast, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there, but... That is a perfect shot if it doesn't spin. There we go. There we go. We're going to have a par putt. We are going to have like a 15 to 20 foot par putt. 25, 19 feet. Yep. 19 feet for par. It's going to come right to left. And I'm going to miss it short. But that's okay. That's actually not that bad. That was a pretty good lag putt there. And it's going to be a bogey. It's going to be another bogey. Again. I will take no doubles or triples or anything other than bogeys, pars, and anything under that. So that's a 42 on the front nine. That's my best nine I've played since playing the golf club, since starting the golf club. And we're playing from the tips, too. So it's longer holes, longer distances. It's a lot more difficult. But nice. there we go. That the might fairway. be my first drive that I hit the fairway and not get it in a fairway bunker. How about that? That's a great way to start the back nine. I appreciate my driving today. My driving has been so much better, but it's it's just ended up in poor spots. That one did not end up in a poor spot, though, and that's going to be a perfect second shot there. It's going to leave me just short of that bunker. Nice little chip shot, hopefully over it and not into it. And then we'll have a birdie chance, which I might have had one birdie chance before, but I don't really remember and oh no that's gonna be too far that's gonna be too far no it's not that's gonna be perfect right there sit right there and it gets a little cut back a little bit and that's gonna be birdie. six feet for birdie i'm appreciating this hole this hole is great but i pull the putt oh what was that 
What was that shot? Okay, what was that here. shot? Now I'm going to have a tough par putt because I absolutely shanked my birdie putt, and I'm going to miss the par oh, putt, too. Would just drop sometimes. I'm going to three putt from six feet for a bogey on a par five. Five footer here. Nothing too bad. Fantastic work. Me. No. 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 Why? Why do the bad things always happen to nice me in golf in games? Ah, ah that's a double bogey to start the back nine right after having six feet for birdie. Okay, let's Are see you what kidding me? On this that is... Four. Oh, let's go I gotta focus this one into the fairway. I actually have to start there. focusing because if I don't focus, then stuff like that will happen and my round Looks will like you'll be get in the short stuff here. super bad and not how I want to finish it. So... That, that's a good start, though. That drive is a very good start. 275 right down the middle. Going to have about 160 in, I think. And 152, a little shorter than I thought. Okay. Um, we're going to have... Point, yeah, we'll hit 8-iron here. And see how far we can blast that. Slow backswing, perfect downswing, so it's going to be a little short, I believe. Hello, Mr. Bunker friend. Good to see you again. It's great, great to see you. Ah, uh, time. Oh, that's going to be a good bunker shot. Hey, I actually hit a good bunker shot, guys. How about that? Nice job out of that. I beach. hit a bunker shot. Three feet to the Perfect distance, and I'm going to make a par here to make up yeah, for the double on the last the hole. Here. So now we're playing bogey golf and on the back nine again. Nine that's where we're at right now. Let's play some bogey golf. Let's have some fun. I'm Go having fun. Coming up. Take your I am shot. enjoying this immensely. I haven't played a golf game in so long. Basically a week since the last one. So since the last video so i'm i'm just excited to be playing this game right now this game is so much better than the original one like the oh that's a good shot too if it keeps rolling um the actual mechanics of the game are oh are a little different they're like the actual motions are similar but the and mechanics of how the shots work and like the different reactions to missing shots and stuff like that are a little different which I kind, which I really enjoy. Is that going to be a birdie? That's a and birdie. There's your birdie. That is a birdie. Yes, my first recorded Eight birdie in this game. Round. I had one birdie in my practice round, but that is the first birdie you guys are going to see in the golf club too. Okay, um, it's time to send this. Ball but yeah, I way. I like how you actually miss on your shots now. It seemed a little easy in the original version of the golf club, but this one's definitely a lot more difficult. Which Makes me want to play it more because I actually want to get better. With the original golf club, it took me a few rounds, but once you understand it, it actually it actually made sense and you could go out and shoot really low round right away, basically. And as you can see, I'm in another fairway bunker. Um, but yeah, I'm, re I'm really enjoying this game. They don't have a lot of the courses yet, either because they haven't imported them or... I haven't been able to find them yet, and that's going to be a green in regulation, I believe, if it stops rolling. But yeah, this game is so fun. This is only my third round playing it, and I'm already well, you're out of the sand. already that's addicted. All, uh, um, but like this is going to be a tough putt here. Very tough putt. Hopefully I can actually get it to the hole. Yeah, I'm going to get it there. Is it going to sit, though? I think I hit it too hard. Wow. Oh, no. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Now I'm going to have a 20-footer for par. I am... That's not good. Okay, I'm not. I'm not enjoying that here. putt. Twenty-one feet for par. Hopefully, I can make this though. If I can make this. I'll be happy, and I do. Nice. Nice putt, me. Good job. Great and job making the par. Eight over. There. Over. That's a. Here. Thank you. My sister just congratulated me half-heartedly. But yeah, that's one on. That's uh, one over through four holes on the back side. Coming up. I'm starting to get a little in the groove right now. Just talking, having fun, making some good shots, driving it in fairway bunkers. All right, looking good uh, so far. Hitting them good out of fairway bunkers, too. So that's a good thing. Is this going to be another fairway bunker, or am I going to avoid it? I avoided the fairway bunkers this time. Yay! Yes. All right, now I'm actually going to have a decent shot in. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go full sandy. Sand wedge. Full sand wedge. Perfect, perfect. Wind in, so it's going to come up a little no, short. Spin back. Spin back. Oh, it spun back. Oh, it spun back. Be good. Get in. 
Get in the hole. Oh, great shot there. That's like two feet for birdie. Shot. Well that done. was perfect. About a three I was like, here. I think a sandwich is the perfect club here, and that's Nicely another birdie. Pulling off that's birdie even par on, on the backside. I am getting Sitting good at this at game, seven or at better than I was before, where I think I shot 90 in the first round. Coming up. So, like, this is so much better than it was before. And we're going to have a longish par four again. That's okay. We're just going to hook it into a fairway bunker, probably. Yep. Yep. <laughs> just going back to the old grind. Hitting it into fairway bunkers for no reason. Actually, we're yeah. short of the fairway bunker. How about that? Well, you could have we're in the light rough, which means we actually might have a chance at the green. Uh, this one's in the first um, Do I want to go three wood here? Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to see what three wood does here. That didn't sound right. Probably not that good. Yep, not good at all, actually. That was poor. That was just pure trash because I hooked it. So, well, you're in the rough. But you're not that's really what happened. Into it, so uh, this, but this is looking good. Actually, the lob pitch might be good enough because there should be enough room over the bunker to get over. No, I hit it into the bunker. Ugh. I thought there was enough room over the bunker to get in. Another thing I like about this game, usually in the golf in the first golf club, once you got in the bunker, it just stopped. It literally just stopped wherever it was and just you played from where right, it was. But it actually moves here. within the bunker now, which I enjoy. And that's going to be a bogey. Putt there for bogey. I thought that was going to turn more, but it didn't. That's going to be a bogey. Sitting at uh, eight over. Now I'm one over on the backside, eight over overall. And I believe this is a par 71, so with that, I'm breaking 80. And breaking 80 is always fun. 153. Wind in 158 should be perfect. Slow and perfect, so that's actually going to be short, probably. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, actually, get over the bunker. Get over the bunker. No. Okay. It only stayed there because it caught the lip, which, no. Bad lip. And that's going to be too far. Apparently, I'm hitting... The that was a bit bunker shots well enough to actually hit them out, so which Let's see if we can, is uh, a lot different than how my here. chip shots and my bunker shots were before this episode. Come on, turn for the par. Get in. Oh, Ooh, that was slightly disappointing. Ooh, that was close. Okay. That was close to making it, but then it's going to roll all the way back into the bunker I was just in. No, it's going to stay short. But it Looks is like a 24 footer from 5 here. footer for bogey. So I don't like that. Hopefully I can make another miracle putt. No, I'm de I definitely left that one short. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, let's stay away from the triple bogeys. That's my goal right okay, now. We'll stay away from the triple footer. bogeys. Which I There's do. Nice Ooh, that just wrapped in for a double. Okay. Two doubles Ten on this back side. The Not the best, but I'm still only three over on this back side. Coming off the I will take that. Bogey um, on that, last that is perfectly uh, fine with me. We're going to have another par 5 here. here. This par 5 actually looks better. really close. I remember this par 5. And the shot hooked it again. This is looking I'm going like to be short of the fairway bunkers. Hopefully I just don't go into the heavy rough. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not where I wanted to be. That is not where I wanted to be. Uh, yeah, we're just going just gonna to punch it out with the hybrid, I think. Just punch it out there. Just let it roll down the fairway a little bit. Like 120, 130, 140 yards. Just get it down there. Hopefully, we can get on the green in our third Back shot. Possibly have a birdie now. chance. Who knows? 154, okay, like down 8. So 145 to should be perfect. Just going to take the shot. I keep being slow on the backswing, which I kind of understand. I just want to make sure I get the full swing. Oh, and that what a perfect spot to be. If I was two yards to the left, I would have been in a bunker again. But hey, instead, I have a birdie putt, from here. which is kind of makeable if I can get the right speed. Oh, be good. Be good. Oh, missed to be just a little high and 10 feet past. Fantastic. I, I'm i still trying to get the greens a little right, bit, but they're, the greens are basically the same as the original golf club, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to make an excuse there, but that's going to be a missed putt. So we're going to have another bogey on a par five, okay, which another three card. putt plus on a par five, which I do Sitting not like. 11 over but again, round. four over 
on the back side. Definitely a new best, if that 7 over was a new best. Um, I have to get a hole in one to break 80 go. though, so that's not going to happen. Fairway. But for right now, we're just going to go and try to get a birdie. And that's a really good drive. That's going to be a really good drive if it stays out of the fairway bunker. As always, if it stays out of the fairway bunker, I'm feeling confident about the second shot. And we're going to be short of the bunker, so that's a good thing. I avoided right. the fairway bunker uh, on that last like drive. -ish that's yards, good. Uh, this green here. seems a little off, not going to lie. It should be, probably be a little more vertical, but I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to criticize this course. This course actually was very good for how it was. And that's going to be probably right in that bunker, isn't it? Are we going to be doing a Jordan Spieth shot? No, we're going to be... Actually, no, sit down, sit down. Sit down, that's going to be on the green at least, I think. Nope, it's going to be off the green. It's going to be off the green right, let's get out of this over the other the side. Here. Just going to chip it down. Poorly as always. And then we're going to Looks like a probably miss this here. putt and get a bogey on the last hole. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to miss this putt. But again, not the worst putt I've hit today. I did hit one 30 feet past the hole one time. So five -footer it's here. definitely not, not as bad as it was. And oh, I'm going to miss that putt close. too. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Double to finish the round off. Oh, no. I don't like that. I don't like that. Double to Solid finish the round off. The I believe that is six over on the back. Okay, 13 uh, over. Yeah, six over on the back. The shot 84 with the 13 well, over. The so I believe that was a 41 there. on the back side. Let's See check out the scorecard. No, it's a 42 on the front, 42 on the back because uh, the front side was one par less. So, pretty even on both sides. I kind of fell apart at the end. I was even par through the first five on the back side and then went bo bogey, double, bogey, double to finish off. So, not the best finish. Maybe got a little uh, cocky there. Who knows, though? Uh, probably did if it's me. So, but yeah, that was the Golf Club 2 TPC Deer Run. Enjoy the John Deere Classic this week. The last tournament before the British Open. I believe. I'm pretty sure the British Open's next week. So that is that is very exciting. I'll have a lot of stuff for the British Open next week, hopefully. And yeah, that's about it from me. So if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop it with a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys with a new video real soon. Bye!